everybody, I'm Chris Saltz, this is Derek Ficken, and we're here with another edition of Box Busters, one which I don't have a catchy nickname and tie-in for, because this is just simply 2013-14 Panini Basketball. Boom. Boom. I mean, yeah, 10 cards per back, 24 Boom. packs per this box, a lot, a lot of good stuff in here. Um, it's interesting that they oh. finally came out with the base Panini uh, product. New basketball. It seemed, if I remember correctly, Panini Basketball, the standard brand, was actually kind of popular the one okay. year they did it. Or maybe I'm thinking it's straight up dogs. I could be wrong. Yeah. But whatever it was, the one year they did a basic brand, it seemed yeah. pretty popular because it was just collector friendly, affordable. So. Well, with this, you know, you have the Knight logo incorporated mm. in the card, so that's kind of cool. They have the bird's eye view, I think it's called, where, yeah, boom, right there. Boom. So those, I think, are really cool pictures. Um, a lot of signatures, Hall of Fame signatures, rookie signatures, rookie obviously. Um, Any uh, short prints or kind of parallel type action? I don't remember, honestly. I don't think there's any short prints or variation cards, okay. but I might be wrong because it's been a couple weeks since so, I yeah. looked. This um, is pretty much my first look at this one, so I'll let you know what shocks and awes me. Yeah, right, right now we got the Night School, Blake Griffin. That's a um, funny name, Night School. Yeah, and then you got obviously plays in the background on the on the chalkboard. But I mean, I you know it's it's a clean clean card. Yeah, I have this, nothing. It has to, kind of a contenders feel to it. Yeah, you know it's real simple. Uh, hoops kind of blended with contenders a little bit. Mm -hmm. It looks like two two rookie cards per pack so far. And I think it's two autographs per box. Yeah. Uh, so that's nice. I've got. Uh, my first spur, Kobe Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I can't talk. Yeah. Can't breathe either. So something interesting that they do, um, this is just the base card for Jordan Hill, but obviously that's a bird's eye view, but that doesn't go under the bird's eye view insert set. Oh, so okay. you might, you know, some people might get a little confused on that. Yeah, photo selection. You but, just gotta watch for that. Yeah. How about a uh, night school Clay Thompson? Ooh, very nice. Alan Crab, Crabby. Crabby, Crab. I don't know. Luigi Datome, <laughs> and a Kyrie Irving to, to nice. bring it back to pronunciation land. Let's see, night school of Paul George. Archie I like there Goodwin. Needs to be a night, night court with a, night uh, court. Like, a, like a bull autograph or something. Yeah, Stephen Adams. Or Harry Anderson. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't remember the other guy's name, John Larroquette. I can't remember his character. Honestly, I don't know who you're talking about and what you're talking uh, about. The show on television probably before you were born. Probably. Gerald Wallace, Roll Tide, <laughs> Kobe Bryant, I'm not a hornet. <laughs> I see what you did there. Uh, that's all I can do. I could, Evan Turner, I don't know what that insert, what's that insert? Uh, preparation. Oh, okay. Those are before um, before the game starts. They have kind of they're in their warm up gear. They're doing their celebratory. Yeah, okay, that makes pumped. sense. Because when I see it, I couldn't really figure out what was going on there, but now yeah, I see what. That's yeah, before that. the game, probably getting his name called, doing his thing, doing the Velcro butt. Yeah, I all right. I got my first bounce. hit. I got autograph rookie Andre Robertson of Oklahoma City Rising Tide autograph. Roll Tide. Oh wait. Nope. Rising Tide. Yeah. I don't think, yeah, it's not numbered, but... I have a Fat Pack. Fat Pack, Fat and Pack. And it's a Ryan Kelly rated rookie autograph. Oh, nice. Number 86 out of 100. Well, there you go. Manufactured patches are back. Rated rookie. <coughs> they just can't just go away. They Tough part on rated away. rookies is a lot of those rated rookies don't make the league. So... Yeah. This, this time of year, though, most of these guys should have had some playing time. That is true. Um, another cool insert that I really like in this product called Family Business. Uh, we have Bill Walton, Luke Walton there. Luke. Um, you have, father. obviously, you have guys like Clay Thompson and his father, Del Maybe. Curry, Steph Curry. Um, yep, that's cool. But, yeah. Baby Lillard. I'm whipping through these quickly because there's a lot of packs. Yes. And I'll wait and show you rookies when I know who they are. All right. I don't know who I got in that last pack. Defensive player of the year, Joe Kim Noah. Oh gosh. He just he's messing with you. He don't want to. He don't want to stay. He doesn't want to stay still. We also have inserts in here called top ten. Uh, we got Anthony Bennett. You win. I do. 
Shabazz Muhammad and a Tony wow. Mitchell rookie card. Tony Mitchell, UNT alumni right there. The uh, photographs on the front and the back are identical. I don't know if that's a positive or negative to some people, but there you go, and there you go. Something I noticed. It's a, Obviously, that saves money in terms of downloads and photo usages. Uh -huh. It's not that distracting, but it's certainly something that some people may obsess about when they're yeah. sorting cards or building a set. Bird's eye view of Victor Oladipo. I'll just call him Victor, because pronouncing that name. <laughs> I got enough problems with names like Al Horford. There you go. That was close. Or the Sky Dwight Howard. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Not a fan. But it's okay. He left his team in shambles and hasn't done anything since. Yeah. And actually, he left it. Well, he didn't really leave the Lakers in shambles because he didn't do anything for the Lakers. Yeah, exactly. He just kind of sat there. Got a paycheck. Yeah. Steph Curry. Night School of Kyrie Irving. Jose Calderon. Oh. Mario Chalmers. Is this the uh, Heat's championship jerseys? Where it's yes. Yeah. There's been a lot of that. This they're they're starting to do that. The Mavericks did it where they had yeah. like the, the yellow outline. Yeah. Kind of look like Batman a little. But. Nice. Nerland's Null, the big hair. Nerland's Null. Well. Sure. I can't even get the name right. He's got to mess with me. The radio guy is all about how stuff is Sorry. said. Uh, that's, I'm, I'm kind of like that. Here's another preparation card of Darren Williams. Are those are those numbered or lettered? The preparation cards? Yeah. Uh, I teed you up on that one. Let's see Some here. people will get it. They're uh, numbered. Yeah, they're numbered. Good thing. <laughs> uh, Phil Presley. Ooh. Ricky Lido or Leto, like Jared. Yeah. I don't know which. Kenneth Fareed, I like, I like him. He's a beast in the paint. And a Chris Paul card just for posterity. There's a lot of cards and a lot of packs in this one. You, you're gonna, this is a definite throwback in terms of the volume of stuff you're gonna get. Yeah. I mean, it's not a high price product. Uh, so if, if you're looking to collect, obviously this is a great product to do that. And How about a James Posey autograph? Looks like we got a parallel. <coughs> Gold foil. Good yeah. to know. JJ Reddick. If you're not careful, that'll blend in pretty quickly. Yeah. But it stood out compared to the silver foil. Yeah, I mean, it's just a matter of if people are ripping too fast. Nice. Some people just shred their packs looking for the hits. And... I like to read the backs, kind of chill, hang out. Luke, again. Oh, very nice. Same one you pulled. Yep. I'm only halfway through the box. Oh gosh, I'm so tired. Our cameraman's shoulder is going to be aching like his name is. Well, his foot's already hurting, and oh, he I dropped see. all these boxes all on the Yay. ground. Yay. Put him on the disabled list gosh. already. This guy, he must like wearing number zero, Ines Cantor. Yeah. He's an interesting character. Oh, boy. Gal Meckel. Yep. The Israeli. And Tim Hardaway Jr. <laughs> I feel old. <laughs> There's James Harden, Night School, Blake Griffin, DeMarcus Cousins. That'll work. Oh, man, I feel old again. Glenn Rice Jr. Nice. Andre Robertson. Yoko Noah. Chris Bosch. Kirk Henrik. Well, look, check out those geek glasses on that one. Yeah, he, he goes pretty hard in the paint with those glasses. That's funny. <laughs> you can't see. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get any hits in this one. Well, they're not yeah, in get... every one, man. Uh -huh. Man. You're spoiled. Yeah, you go from intrigue to Panini. <laughs> spoiled, definitely. Yeah. Tiago Splitter, baby. Got the best wood breaking name in the league. Not a fan of him. How about Big Baby? He's such a baby. He's on the Clippers now. Well, dang. Dang it. <laughs> LeBron James. Ooh, I pulled the same one. Preparation card of John Wall. Nice. Not going to show it, though. Bird's eye view of Derrick Rose. That's a cool looking card. Yeah. Must be an old photograph, though. Uh, yeah, I would assume that. Andre Kirilenko. He's not much of a high flyer these days. Is he still hurt or did he come Yeah, he's, he's still hurt. He's still on the bench. J.J. Redick. 
Oh boy. I was formerly in Orlando, so I've, some of those names resonate quite well. Yeah. Wesley Matthews. Looks like these are one per box, at least uh, so far. Yeah, so far. Eric Murray, Tony Snell rookie cards, or Eric Murphy. Let's see here. Swaggy P, Nick Young, doing his thing, or trying to at least. Another showboater, J.R. Smith, the shoe untier. I got Brooke Lopez. Got anything on him? No, he's not bad. A Stanford know. guy. Here's a Chris Paul pe preparation. Well, I got the veteran pack over here. Ray Allen. Nice. Timmy. Timmy. And check out the, I don't know what's going on there, but the, the fade that apparently is oh. on all the cards. I didn't notice until it faded yeah. someone's face away. I don't even know who that is. 25? Denver? It's on all the cards, though, so it's not it's not a slight toward the guy. Yeah. But actually, on the back, oh, he got faded on the yeah. back, too. Dang. It's just wrong. Kyrie Irving, James Harden. I didn't even Harden. notice that, though. Every card has it. Yeah. You see it. Mark Saldridge. And I got my other autograph, Andre Blatch, Energizers, Inc. Woohoo! So it looks like I'm done with the autographs. How about Bless. a Giannis on and on on to 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 Copono Pompono? Yep. Mm -hmm. Did you get that one? Yeah, I heard it loud and, and you, clear. And you can say it correctly, right? No, I cannot. Okay, I'll just let that one show for that, itself. That one, I just let it ride. Yeah, just let it happen. Just roll roll it off the tongue. Let me try again. All right. Andres Ante Tacono. Uh, <laughs> Ante Tacompo. Yeah. Sounds about right. Oh. We'll take that. Boom. Oh. I'll give you a B. You know. Yeah, when you have to like phonetically say it, that probably <laughs> is a big radio fail. <laughs> Night School, Russell Westbrook, Brandon Jennings, Pistons. How about Anthony Bennett? Number one draft pick, right? There you go. This is a cool card, Bird's oh, Eye yeah. View with the 76ers logo. And actually, it's got a rookie card logo on it, which is odd, oh. because it's not. Yeah. It's a subset card. But yeah, Michael Carter-Williams, potential rookie of the year candidate. It's a cool photo, though. Yeah. Not a big fan of the rookie card logo being put on an insert card. Yeah. That's a stretch. I think the rookie card logo is starting to be put on a lot of cards that shouldn't be put on the cards. Yeah, it's a marketing device more and than anything. I'm not a big fan. Like, yeah, it's Cody Zeller top 10. Gosh, these cards are just rolling with me. Rolling, 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 rolling. On. I did that off camera. <laughs> these guys aren't fun anymore. Who, me? I'm getting sh head shake from behind the camera. Oh. I'm getting no sold on my jokes. This is you know, It's like wrestling. When they punch it, you're supposed to react like it hurts. Yeah, I I'm just... You're Hulk Hogan in me. I'm He's sorry. too young for your jokes. I know. I guess. I'm just Which makes me old. Let's see. Ha, it, makes you, it makes you really, really old. Uh, whatever. I'm old. I'm used to it. <laughs> Paul Gasol, bird's <laughs> eye this view. Guy, so there was a, the Chronicles of Nemanja. Let's go for a younger joke there. Jumanji? Yeah, the Chronicles of Narnia. Narnia, all right. Is that the yeah. one movie? I yeah. don't know. Maybe it was the parody movie. I don't remember. Uh, I think you're trying to Narnia? stretch that one. Ooh. Narnia is the movie. You got Jumanji. Well, then there, there's the one parody movie that I'm, that's the one I've seen where it makes uh, fun of the movie, but I don't yeah. know if I said the parody name or not. Uh, I'm not Pau Gasol. Woohoo! Luis Scola. Kevin Durant. Derek Rose. Shabazz Muhammad and Tony Mitchell. Again, that's another Tony Mitchell. How about the most cliched moment in all of basketball history? The one that he's basically just needs to retire because it's, <laughs> it's like, you're not cool anymore, dude. LeBron <laughs> dusting it up. I'm not a fan of that. Dust cropping. I think it's stupid. Is that the right way to dust crop? No. No? Is there ever a right way? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I've seen waiting. I think, yeah, I think Justin's doing it right now. <laughs> oh my god. No, yeah, I'm doing no such thing. <laughs> Here's preparation of Jeremy Lin. Isaiah Kanan, Solomon Hill rookie cards in this one. And I'm on my final pack. Man. I'm, I'm just, tearing through, I'm man. just so slow. Break it on through to the other side. That's old for you. Too. Yeah. Shane Battier, he's old. Yes. Eric Gordon. Oh, I have some kind of crazy insert coming up though. Anthony Davis, Dion Waiters, mm -hmm. 
Carmelo Anthony, and all Panini card, which is the only foil board card I've seen in this box. That's the parallels. They're doing the all Panini. Yeah. So. DeMarcus Cousins, one per box, apparently. I see. Victor Oladipo. Yep. And Nason. Nason. Mason Plumley. So there you go. That was my box. Okay, I got a sure, uh, rated rookie auto and a James Posey auto. James Posey, that's that's a nice auto. That guy goes back back in the day. He's, he's related to Buster, right? I don't think so. Oh man, you can just don't just stand there, James Posey. <laughs> Doesn't work, does it? No. And here's my All Panini Chris Bosh. I think you won the All Panini battle. Yeah, who'd you get? I don't remember. Well, all right. <laughs> I so guess many, I won't. You know what I mean? DeMarcus Cousins. I don't know. Oh, maybe wow. it's not as bad as I That's think. close. Yeah. My last pack. Let's see. Trevor Reza, Chris Paul, Paul Gasol, Bird's Eye View, uh, Paul George. So that's cool. Eric Murphy, Jamal Franklin. So what do you think? That's a lot of cards. A pretty huge set. Bunch of cards. Sure. Yeah. It's a, well, it's a 100 card base set. Okay. Uh, but they have the rookie jersey autos. Oh, man. Um, okay. As well. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if those are in the base set. Um, but you know, Maybe in retail? Yeah. Not too sure about that. Uh, but the bird's eye view cards, I'm a huge fan of. Uh, the all panini parallel cards, I wish there were more. Yeah. Um, because I really like the design and how they do that. <laughs> I mean, the base cards are clean. They're simple, but it may be a situation where you need some subsets to break it up. Yeah. Um, I'm not a big fan of having too many parallels, so right. I think, you know, the one per box is going to actually do pretty well. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, I agree with that. You you know, you can have the overload of parallels and you're yeah. just like, whoa, you know. So less is more in that regard. I, I just think some more subsets. There, I mean, there are insert sets in here, subsets. Mm -hmm. But but it, a lot of them felt very similar. Yeah. So you know if if you're ripping to rip and, and you know you like a big base set that's meaty, you're fine with this product, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, if you're one that wants more variety, you know more hits minded, you're probably not buying it anyway. Yeah. Um, but overall, I think it's a pretty fun rip. Yeah. No, it's a great product, and uh, I, I wish I wish we had more to break. I'm not gonna lie. All right. Well, <laughs> until next time, I'm Chris. I'm Derek. Just keep breaking. Yeah. <laughs>